Hello everybody, this is out of the box unboxing and in today's episode uh, I'm going to review and test for you this uh, two-speed hammer drill from Parkside available in Lidl and uh, it will be split it in the two uh, parts one, band, one will be or the first will be theoretical second will be a uh, practical so as always on the beginning some, uh, some of uh, basic features of this drill uh, it has uh, 1100 watts uh, it's a two speed uh, uh, it has a two speed um, gearbox you can choose between hammer and uh, usual drill mode and, and what else you have a, a maximum drill diameter of 40 millimeters in wood 16 millimeters in concrete and 13 millimeters in steel in terms of rpms uh, uh, at, uh, on, on the first gear no load uh, rpms are up to 900 uh, on the second gear also no load speed is up to 3200 impact frequency it's a uh, uh, up to 15,300 BPMs uh, on the first gear, on the second is 54,400 BPMs. Uh, max torque is uh, 80 Nm and chuck capacity is uh, 13 mm. Um, and uh, on the beginning my let's say first impression and I would say it's slightly negative. Why? because for impact uh, drill I would uh, expect to have a SDS format. Uh, I know uh, SDS are let's say more professional but for impact drill it's uh, I would say a requ requested feature. Uh, such coupling will give you a let's say a possibility to, to install usual drills but for uh, some uh, impact uh, application when you need to uh, crush some stone or some part of the concrete I would say it will not work properly it will not be uh, you, you will not be able to to use it uh, nice feature is this uh, anti-dust uh, uh, how to call it vacuum cleaner uh, attachment but uh, we are buying first of all a drill and this is okay it's good to have but uh, it's not a necessity uh, to have uh, also this uh, measurement it's made out of steel which is good but it's <laughs> I just took it from the box and maybe you will be able to see it's 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 bended it's like a banana so uh, okay, it could be a damage during the protection, uh, but it tells you something about uh, quality. So, uh, let's move on to the practical test and then we will come back for the summary.
Okay, so uh, the summary, as I mentioned, so the, my prediction has been confirmed uh, because I cannot use a, uh, I cannot use it as a uh, as a hammer. For me, it's slightly senseless to to buy such heavy uh, drill, even if it has uh, 1,100 watts, because for me it's like a regular drill. Okay, if you wanna. Uh, put some uh, poster on your wall and you need to drill a hole um, inside of the concrete it's fine it's perfectly fine but for let's say more advanced applications SDI uh, coupling is it's it's needed and by the way if you have SDI coupling you can buy regular one coupling for regular for regular drills and in that way you have a you, you, you gain more practical tool and uh, in this shape I mean in my opinion is uh, pointless better to have a small drill I mean 50 500 watts 700 watts for DIY usage I mean for drilling some uh, simple small holes in walls but if you need a hammer drill it has to have uh, this SDI uh, SDI coupling so this is my opinion Thank you for watching, I'm curious about your opinion and as always stay tuned, see you next time, bye!